there's a Slider costume and there's a Slider Box costume. I think that I am I'm tempted to make these costumes as well. It's not the end of the world having to make some costumes. Um, Let me have a think about what these would be like, because <sighs> do I have something like I've got li I've got dark rectangle, but yeah, this is different. This is uh, dark transparent. transparent no middle transparent costume and bright transparent Color sets. Boy, this is annoying having to do this, but I pretty much have to make up three whole new color sets as well because it's a transparent thing. And I will global, I think I'm just going to call them dark transparent. Color set, middle transparent, color set equals new. Um, this is, I, I'm doing this and it seems like a faff, but uh, it may well pay off in other ways. I suppose I could use these. color definition I will also have mobile man it's just going to be dark transparent all this stuff to get a dark transparent transparent g color equals new g color middle I really should just have type I'm um, like this is like a penance or something Punishment for myself for making such daft code. A bright transparent. Okay. Now, inside generate defaults. Start off with a lot of color definitions. Including mine. Call D dark transparent set to be something or other. Call D middle transparent set to be something or other and call D bright transparent set to be something or other. For now, I will go to GUI, I will find Rect button and I will find this. 
that is the current color of the right button and I multiply it by 1.3 and 2.0 here so here is the current color I see that I've uh, typed okay so I'll say I feel like I should be able to say call D maybe I can't okay well I'll say dark And what did I say? 1.3 and 2.0. D. Dark transparent. Comma 2.0. Comma. Point. Uh. Okay. No color sets. Dark trans parent set all call set D set D middle transparent set all call set D right transparent set all. Now, here is a color set. Mainly, the one I'm fussed about is call D dark transparent. Now, actually, before I get all fussed about that, it's going to be the default of these that the font is white. And you can see here I've got a little color set set all main, one, two, three, and font. Main is the only one I've ever really used. My thinking was vaguely thinking ahead. Maybe you'd want to pass some other colours in. This colour set is what gets passed in to... well it's understood that each costume has a colour set and a skin and an image. These three things combined will describe how the skin program... like it's a skin program which accepts basically an image and a colour set. Very rarely do they use any colours other. In fact, I don't know if I've ever made a programme that's used any other colours. Anyway, here I am. But I basically, I think, want black for everything except the last one, which will be white. Because I want white text by default inside gadgets which have this colour set. White. So, for starters, basically all of this is the same. Except for... the color. Now, now I define my costumes. Look at them all. Costume definition dark transparent set all. Now this is going to be rect skin, I think rectangle skin and I'd have to do this weird thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know that. Rectangle. Okay, in instance, I don't like the way that works, it's just the way it works. Prior to using... Prior to using function pointers, I had a strange clutch to... which I still use. So this is me defining what these actual costumes are. They're the rectangle skin drawn with a square image, which is to say it's just a square stretched over a rectangle with the appropriate colour set definition.
that's it. <laughs> simple as that. No, not really simple as that. Know what I have. It's a new set of uh, costume definitions. Which, if I'm right in my thinking, I should be able to just go to right button. And I could do something like cause D. Like, okay, here's my, here's what I'll try and do. I use temp C here, then I draw the text using text color AV. I'll stick with that, I won't bother fussing. Like, there is a, you know, there's an alternative. Um, I think that, and, well, do need to do something about them being inactive, which I think is going to be... In fact, I think I'll just stick one in. It's quite annoying for me to have to do it, but uh, what it'll be is a color set. I don't need any new... well... well... Yeah, I suppose I could just make it... No, nah, I don't want to make it blank. Okay, I want a new colour set, which is... Um, inactive transparent. Now, this is a colour, not colour set. I think... Hmm, I think that what I want is one new colour, which is up here. Which is transparent. is inactive, uh, not not color, but I want a new color set, which is inactive transparent. I think because I will make a don't need new color definition, I need new color definition, color set definition down here, call set definition, inactive transparent set all, uh, call d transparent, comma, all these things. with text which is dark grey. And now, oops, what I'll do, oh, there's something else I need, I need to do cause definition, costume def, which is inactive transparent. do for just now. And then side generate defaults. I generate the color set, so now I need to generate the costume definition. Inactive. Is there a problem? Costume definition. Where did I put that? In a color set definition. There's a color. I don't need a color definition. I've got a color set. Costume def. A cause D. Inactive transparent costume. Uh, and it will be 
basically be this but with the inactive transparent color set. So inside GUI here I'll draw it with costume st what is it color text font av dive into the costume into its colors get its font color get the alpha adjusted uh, unsigned integer from that font color and pass it into text draw. This will mean that whatever by using ST which is passed into finish draw just as an integer that's the state of the gadget and it's not the gadget gadget state it's differentiated from the state that I would get returned by requesting the state from the gadget and that that state can be superseded by the superseded by the goodness yeah superseded by the inactivity of uh, an ancestor's an ancestor gadget this state this gadget may be set to being inactive in which case it will be drawn with its inactive costume but its own state may be active, but if it's one of its parents is inactive, it itself must also be drawn and act as inactive. This finished draw still needs called in case any parts of it need drawn, but to take into consideration the the uh, superseded state of inactivity that may come from one of its ancestors, this is required, or at least something like it is required. But now. The icon is exactly the same. Oh, it's using text color. AV. Yeah, so I should do this. This is me basically trying to make a rect button use that costume. Now, if I'm right, this should no longer be necessary. All I need to do, do is draw text and the icon and actually this is exactly what would happen so I don't even know if I need finish draw what is the difference basically nothing so well for now I'll leave it but I don't think I need it what I do need is I don't really want set color anymore. This is not so relevant as it was. I'm taking it out. These, this is about. Um, this is really about this gadgets. I shouldn't need a, any of these. Or this, or this, really. <laughs> this is about this gadgets. Uh, costumes, which will start off with dark transparent. And I'll do something similar to what I do in my button, which is basically take these. And I need to do something else as well. Because I'll just check this, but I'm pretty sure that if you pass no costume into setup then what you get given is the standard the normal in quote yet normal costume co there it does that thing for you he's automatically if it's blank nor in the normal or normal it will automatically set the inactive state because these are so common normal buttons which just look like whatever I've assigned the standard skin to be. In normals which are just the standard but in an alternative version of normal. Anyway so I'm going to be setting 
I'm not sending one of these, so I will have to set the normal, you know, the inactive costume as well. So I have to remember that, but I'll have to go back down to my button and just say, these are the things I want to take control of, plus another one. Icon, pop, and we get, oops. And I suppose, basically, I must be doing something almost the same in here, yeah. Then I want to do these. All right, and then I didn't, the one I didn't have to do in my button, because it's using a standard state inactive equals now actually because D's I want are inactive trans inactive transparent and held is bright transparent pressed hang on covered is middle transparent can be bloody anything, it will go to bright transparent. It doesn't actually even need something that. It's a, a momentary, like a, a frame long state. The only reason it can. Uh, hang on a sec. No, yeah, that's right. These don't have in states, they just have. They can go middle, dark, middle, or bright. Now I think that that is. But there's a thing I'd kind of like to do. This bare button yeah, has nothing. It's blank except dark rectangle and rectangle. I would quite like something that just made a gadget into one that was standard button. Or, mm, well. Let's have a little look at the slider. Slider new. Costume inactive equals costume slider inactive. Right, it just goes straight for slider. Wonder if I could like when I do finish draw here slider box and inactive. Okay. So, it refers to the slider box. What I can do is I could just uh, say, don't use just a default slider box, or do use a default slider box, but um, yeah, cause D inactive render. That's the little thing. That's the, And you just pass an X, a Y, and a width and a height. Anyway, let's see. So I can just uh, I can make two s two costume references here, uh, and it is field box active costume equals null and box inactive costume equals null. And yeah, I'm going to regret this because this is how I started dividing button up. But this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to say method make standard void end and method make normal. Uh, no, make transparent. You just call this normal because it is specifically normal. And in this, I say set all costumes cause D. Oh, no, okay. In, well, in this case, it's like in normal. Yeah, because cause D slider is like in normal. I am going to look that up. 
costume definition and generate defaults. Slider. In skin, square, dark. Yeah. Where are we? In skin, square, standard. So it's, yeah, it's like an in normal. It just uses the in skin. It's just the in skin is that rectangle. So, uh, and the slider box is in skin inactive color. Slider inactive. Interesting. So I have a costume deck for that. But anyway. So. Slider. Slider inactive. Slider box. Uh, I will make it slider. set box but uh, that's great am I doing this right yeah I am and I'm saying box active equals uh, cos D slider box and box inactive What's the problem here? Yeah, you've got in state. Box inactive equals cause the slider box. Oh, what did I? What do I draw it as? generally inactive just something called inactive ok fine ok <laughs> right and then down here I need to talk about uh, box active Yeah, box active dot rounded is what I need. And box inactive dot render. And in make transparent, I need to say set all costumes. Cause D dark transparent costume state inactive equals cause D inactive transparent box active equals cause D middle transparent the box doesn't light up when you go over it. I don't like that, but uh, equals cause D. And I'll make this dark transparent. Okay. So now in theory you should be able to call make normal. And here I should be able to say just make normal so that you fill in that the box active and inactive need values. So, in my mind, I should be able to now just call that. It's not going to be quite great, but I'll have to just have a think about how it goes. 
No. In my mind, I should be able to run it and things will look very much the same. It's pure insanity. I can't believe it had no spelling errors at least. Okay. How am I doing time wise? Bang on 30 and running again, bang on 30. And they're continuing to remote the street. I'm sure they're making it beautiful. I was out earlier. I looked a mess, but you never ju judge, a, don't judge a job half finished. I get pavement stripes. Now, so basically right now I'm expecting no difference. If in a perfect world this will run and look exactly the same as it did before. Setting up all those costume definitions uh, didn't really yeah, didn't really play with the table that much. I just uh, gave it another option. Uh, and toying with that bloody rect button, which is quite possibly a really bad idea, but let's have a look at it look at that. That's a delight. I can hardly believe that worked so well, because all of these now are just kind of like a proper button, and with a proper costume, which I can use. For one thing, I can uh, draw the background of the, the table in this colour, because this colour will always be part of the GUI definition now, really. These buttons will be available to me, and I should be able to draw the slider that way as well. And I think I'll make a, a general thing, which says take a gadget and apply a bunch of stuff to it as if it's a, a normal gadget, or as if it's a, a transparent gadget like this, just so I've got another kind of set of gadgets to use. But basically, sweet. Now. The next thing is to test out the slider part. I am just going to start making the thing that should display the table with the log. This is going to be a gadget that sits just like the controls on top of the on top of the the scrolling display with the image. And it's a gadget which I think I'm going to instantiate when you open it, if you open it. Because it'll be a table, it may, it'll have, you know, 40 or 50 lines, I guess. I'm not sure how long the logs are. They may end up being longer than that. The tables can be huge. They don't worry about size. My file requester, I probably said this before, my file requester will take a long time to open certain folders in the, you know, in the hard disk. So does the actual Windows file requester. Mine, fair enough, does bring the whole machine to a halt, or the whole program to a halt, while it does it, but you know, that's the way it goes. Anyway, the main thing is it can display the huge tables fine. It only considers the part it's displaying. And I'm sure it w I've had it display hundreds of thousands of entries without trouble. But I still kind of don't want it sitting there, even though when something is hidden, you know what, maybe I'm just being stupid. Maybe when you open the thing it constructs the the damn table right there for you. If it finds the log, it constructs the log. Maybe that's a wiser thing to do. At very least it could uh, make up the list of lines from the log, which could then just be spat to the table when it's created, at least. Uh, you know, oh man. The more I think about it, the more it seems like this might be quite simple, but I do not know. It's also been a long time since I instantiated a table. But honestly, for this moment, I think that I'm going to call it success. That's 35 minutes. It's running again. The buttons look totally consistent with how they did before, as I planned. And for once, the plan just worked out fine. And I'm in a better position than I was half an hour ago because I now have those costumes that I can use and I'm already using, hopefully, to consistently reproduce those gadgets. So I will make the gadget that contains the table uh, next time.